Hello and welcome, or welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of R.A.K. Tonight at sunset starts the Feast of Tabernacles. It is the 28th of September, 2023. Tabernacle definition. Latin is tabernaculum, a tent of taberna, a hut, a shed, a tavern, from root of tabula, a board. 1a, a temporary shelter as a tent, b, a dwelling place. 2. The human body as the dwelling place of the soul. The Feast of Tabernacles originated because God's people were slaves in the work prison of the Egyptians, and God, hearing their cries and seeing their affliction, decided to redeem and bring them out of the physical slavery they were in in Egypt and bring them into the land he had promised to their ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This deliverance from Egypt required that they dwell in tabernacles until they reach the promised land of Canaan or Israel. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23, as well as chapter 3, verse 7 through 10. Now after a long time, the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel, groaning, cried out because of the works. And their cry went up unto God from the works. And the Lord said to him, or Moses, I have seen the affliction of my people in Egypt, and I have heard their cry, because of the rigor of them that are over the works, and knowing their sorrow. I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians, and to bring them out of the land into a good and spacious land, into a land that flows with milk and honey, to the places of the Canaanite, and Hethite, and Amorite, and Pharisite, and Hevite, and Jebusite, For the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me, and I have seen their affliction, wherewith they are oppressed by the the Egyptians. But come, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Exodus chapter 6 verse 6, Therefore say to the children of Israel, I am the Lord, who will bring you out of the work prison of the Egyptians, and will deliver you from bondage or slavery and redeem you with a high arm and great judgments. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. God explains at Leviticus 23, 43 as well why. During the Feast of Tabernacles, his people are to dwell in tabernacles or temporary shelters. This is to remind them of their time traveling from Egypt to the Promised Land. Leviticus chapter 23 verse 43, that your posterity may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in tabernacles or temporary shelters when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. By this statement at Leviticus 23 43, God was informing all the future descendants of Israel that their their ancestors were slaves in Egypt, that he brought their ancestors out of slavery in Egypt and that their ancestors had to dwell in temporary shelters during their travels from Egypt to the promised land of Canaan, or Israel. The Feast of Tabernacles of the Old Testament, like other feasts of the Old Testament, is a a type or shadow of what God intended to do in the New Testament via Jesus Christ. In particular, the Feast of Tabernacles foreshadowed that just as God freed his people from physical slavery, and then made them dwell in temporary dwellings until they entered the promised land. So in the New Testament, Jesus Christ frees his people from their slavery to sin by his blood, and makes them dwell in their temporary tabernacles or tents, their mortal bodies, until the resurrection when they receive their promised immortal bodies, if they had faith in Jesus Christ. This analogy can be seen by the following verses. Hebrews chapter 11 Verse 17 through 19. By faith, Abraham, when he was put to the test, offered Isaac. And he who had received the promises, to whom it had been said, In Isaac your seed shall be called, was about to offer up his only begotten son, reasoning that God has power to raise up even from the dead, whence also he received him back as a type of resurrection. Colossians chapter 2, verses 16 and 17. Let no one then call you to account for what you eat or drink or in regard to a festival or a new moon or a Sabbath. These are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. 
Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 34 through 36, Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin, but the slave does not abide in the house forever. The son abides there forever. If therefore the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 1 through 5, For we know that if the earthly house or body in which we dwell be destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made by human hands, eternal in the heavens. And indeed, in this present state we groan, yearning to be clothed over with that dwelling of ours, which is from heaven, if indeed we shall be found clothed and not naked. And for we who are in this tent sigh under our burden, because we do not wish to be unclothed but rather clothed over, that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now he who made us for this very thing is God, who has given us the Holy Spirit as its pledge. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 15. As long as I am in this tabernacle, I think it right to arouse you by a reminder, knowing as I do that the putting off of my tabernacle is at hand, just as our Lord Jesus Christ signified to me. Moreover, I will endeavor that even after my death, you may often have occasion to call these things to mind. 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 through 9. But if we walk in the light, as he also is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all iniquity. So, the Feast of Tabernacles starts tonight, September 28th, at sunset, and Tabernacles is a remembrance of when the Israelites were traveling from Egypt to the Promised Land after they had just been enslaved for a very long time by Pharaoh. I ask you all to enjoy your Sabbath, Shabbat Shalom. Um, Make sure you're not eating hot food, kindling fires tonight um, until tomorrow at sunset, as well as no work. And I urge you, if you can post some sort of tents before sunset, or um, some kind of quick uh, dwelling with maybe tree branches or some extra plywood you have uh, lying around. That's probably your best bet at this point. Um, But regardless, you can be ready for next year. And uh, remember that this is also part of the Christian point of view where we are dwelling in, currently, our earthly bodies. That is our current tabernacles. But... On Jesus' return, we will be brought into our immortal bodies. So, we currently are in these tabernacles. We are um, going from, you know, being enslaved to being freed. And I ask that you all consider this feast. It is one of God's five feasts, one of his seven holy days that he has each year. So, I ask that you keep the Sabbath starting at sunset until September 29th at sunset, I ask that you uh, pray and ask God for guidance on this specific topic, as well as the other holy days. On October 6th, that will be the final day of this feast. That means the sunset of the 6th will be the final day of the Feast of Tabernacles, which will also be what we call the Feast of Assembly, or the Day of Assembly, which I will do another paper on before then um, to explain that as well. Shabbat Shalom. God bless you. Have a wonderful night.